Roger. Where are you going? Start submerging procedure. Water level 50 feet, 75 feet. Engines on. Maximum. Unlock gates. Surface. Good. Flight position. Present speed, Mach 2. Increase point 0.8. Roger. Confirm course. On course, sir. What's our speed now? Present speed, 2.8, 2.9, Better than last time. Good. Speed Mach 3, test now completed. You did that in 10 minutes and 43 seconds. That's excellent. I'm extremely pleased with your progress. All right, return to base. Let's go home.
a major speech today, the President issued a warning to the members of the United Nations, declaring that if they continue to fight among themselves, they face an even greater danger from an unexpected source. The organization, known as Q, equipped with the most advanced weapons, is determined more than ever to pursue its goal of complete conquest of the Earth. To carry out its diabolical scheme, it is financing fanatical groups of terrorists to create havoc and destruction among friendly, peace-loving countries. The President stated that the civilized world can no longer stand by silently and tolerate these suicidal ventures. Therefore, the President proposes to form a team of specially trained men and women to combat the organization known as Q and stop their fiendish plans to rule the world. This team will be codenamed Mighty Jack. Using the latest technology, Mighty Jack will have as its mission the annihilation of the organization known as Q. But it will not be an easy task, for Q is clever. Q is near, far, everywhere. Start! Tokyo, 10 a.m. Saigon, 7.30 a.m. Moscow, 7 a.m. And Paris, 2 a.m. Won't you stay with me a few more minutes? Bye, monsieur. Bon voyage. Just relax, Mr. Atari, and enjoy the ride. It's a beautiful night. Look, what do you think you're doing? Your altitude is 2,000 feet. I'm sure you'll enjoy the view. Good night. It's regarding Mr. Atari, Colonel. I made several calls to Paris to try to get more detailed information. On the day he disappeared, Mr. Atari left a cabaret in Montparnasse at two in the morning, drove past the Port d'Orléans heading south, and then he suddenly disappeared along the highway somewhere. And the airports? Nothing as yet. I called both the Le Bourget and the Orly police. They think that it could be a case of robbery. All right, that'll be all. Thank you. Sir. It's definitely not a case of robbery. 
I'd better contact Mighty Jack. Hello. Is that you, Catherine? Here's the message from Colonel Yabuki. I want you to rescue a certain man. He disappeared suddenly near Paris. He's very important to Mighty Jack. It could be a dangerous mission, so be careful. That's the man. Oh, that's Martine. How interesting. Oh. You know a lot of girls who look like that? This one I do. She's a well-known dancer. Hmm. She's not missing. It's the man we're looking for. Hmm. So he's our next assignment. His name is Harold Atari. He's a professional mountaineer and an expert in cartography. Mr. Atari was last seen driving near the Port d'Orléans. Then he vanished without a trace. Near Paris? Yes. But I doubt whether the kidnappers would still be in the vicinity of Paris. According to Colonel Yabuki, Q could be behind it. They managed to kidnap a man like that as easily as a ten-year-old. This is not an easy case. We don't know who they are or their hiding place. Could be another wild goose chase. There is one thing, though, that might help us. Mr. Atari was carrying a secret transmitter. You know the frequency? On the 20 meter band. 20 meters? It's got a pretty long range. Yes. Its range could be nearly 700 miles. Or further, it all depends on the environment. Hmm. I wonder why he's so important. Mm. Says here that he's vital for the success of Mighty Jack's mission. To give it top priority. Hmm. But who is he? Mountaineer and map expert. That's not enough. I only know what the Colonel told us. Jerry, we must find that wavelength. We'll scan the area with the Electro Scout. Roger. Uh, right. Here, catch. Looks like some kind of tropical island, but where?
Come on out! I don't care who you are! <laughs> Why don't they show themselves? Who are they? <laughs> what about that transmitter? We haven't located it yet. What's being done to find it? Captain Tender and Lieutenant Jerry are out searching with the Electro Scout. What if it's out of range? Well, the maximum range is 700 miles. But there shouldn't be any problem if it's within that radius. Hmm. There's one slight problem, though. Mr. Atari doesn't know he has the transmitter on him. Then he won't know that we... You see, Catherine, I had it issued merely as a precaution. And then Mr. Atari was called away, very suddenly, before he was instructed in its uses. If he doesn't find it, then... Sooner or later, he'll discover that he has it on him. When are you coming back? I'm not sure. Don't stay away too long. We need you here. You've always been one of our best men. Thank you, sir. Oh, do you see that box there? That suit? It's my parting gift to you. Make sure you wear it on this mission. Anything? It's no use. I'm not getting a signal. I'm going to try further west. Might be monitoring it. It's gone again. There's one thing pretty sure, though. That was on the 20 meter band. Location? It's much too far to figure out, sir. 
Try to get the general direction. Pacific Ocean. Ah, Jerry, look! I got this awful headache. Sounds like you're homesick again. No, oh, no, it's not that at all. It's those crazy radio signals. They get louder and softer and softer and louder. They're driving me out of my <laughs> mind. But I'm getting a lot of interference. They're transmitting about every ten minutes. Uh, yeah, not exactly roses, is it? Uh, something suspicious, though. There's no station on the 20-meter band. What's that? You say it's on the 20 meter band? Yes. Maybe that's Atari. Try to get the exact direction of those signals. Do it immediately. Couldn't you give me some medicine first, Doctor? Here's some aspirin. Take a couple. Uh, oh. When did you start hearing them? Well, I picked up the first signals a few days ago. I was trying to get headquarters, but reception was bad, so I changed wave bands and noticed it. Oh, Doctor, that's it. See if you can get the exact location. Yes, sir. This is my last chance. I must risk it. That's the signal. It's very close. It's him, all right. It's Atari. Stop him transmitting those signals! Yes, Master. Are the signals gone? Yes, sir. Only they lasted over five minutes this time. Good. Did you get the location? Yes. 7070. Doctor, what are you going to do with that? Dr. Hyde heard signals on our emergency band. They seem to come from this direction. Mm. The frequency is the same as on Mr. Atari's transmitter. But we still haven't found the location. Well, there's no island in that area. It could be a ship. They say the transmitter was stationary. Then it must be an island. Well then, we'd better send out Mighty Jack. We'll link up with Mighty Jack soon. Yes, sir. Right, full speed ahead. Yes, sir. Course southwest. We must be careful. That man's still their hostage. <laughs> Mr. Atari. What do you want? I want you to tell us about your mission. Never. Please don't make it difficult for us. As long as you cooperate, no harm will come to you. Those lights are capable of blinding you. I'm not afraid. I'll keep my eyes closed, but I won't answer any questions. Very well. You're being very foolish. Soon you'll open your eyes, and then you'll be blinded for life. Tell us one thing. Where's Mighty Jack's secret base? I don't know. I don't know anything. Atari, you mustn't underestimate the strength of Q. 
Our agents are everywhere. Paris, Berlin, London, Madrid. Why did they send you to Paris? I went there to meet a business colleague of mine. And then I did a little sightseeing. It is no use, darling. I promise we'll let you go. But first you have to tell us everything we want to know. You can't hold out much longer. I'll ask you once again. Where is Mighty Jack's base? <laughs> I've never heard of Mighty Jack. What a stubborn man you are. I hope your eyes are still closed. Now for the last time, where is Mighty Jack's base? All right, you win. I'll tell you what you want to know. Just turn off the lights, please. Aren't we very close to the area where Dr. Hyde heard those signals? Yes, sir. We've got to locate it. Decrease speed. We're getting a reading in the direction of 7-0. In the direction of 7-0? A small island? Yes, sir. I believe it is. Good. High speed submerge. I will, Master. I'll take care of Colonel Yabuki. Don't forget I'm counting on you to accompany me to the meeting tonight. Yes, sir. I'll send the car for you. Come in. If that's all, I'll go home now and prepare for tonight's meeting. Hmm. This is really a wonderful painting. She has such mysterious eyes. I've always enjoyed modern art. Hmm. I know it sounds strange. We don't know very much ourselves. All they told us was that the kidnapped man was very important to Mighty Jack. There's one thing we do know, though. The kidnappers must be clever and ruthless. We can't just sit here like this. Mary, have they found the site yet? Mm -mm. I'm waiting for their next message, though. I don't know how important he is, but he's sure giving us a lot of trouble. No trouble at all. This is a joyride. Huh? When he finds out that Mighty Jack's on the way to rescue him, he'll jump for joy. <laughs> <laughs> huh? A signal. Calling Mighty Jack. Calling Mighty Jack. Come in, Mighty Jack. Respond immediately. This is Mighty Jack. We have a nuclear missile aimed directly at you. But we have no intention of attacking you. We only demand that you turn over Mighty Jack to us in exchange for Mr. Harold Atari's life. The anti-missiles are loaded, sir. Ready to fire. Mm. We have already delivered this demand to Colonel Yabuki. Do you read me, Mighty Jack? How do we know that Mr. Atari is still alive? Wait a moment. Imagine exchanging him for Mighty Jack. Who is this Atari anyway? Captain Tenta? 
All we know is that he's someone very special. Hello, Mighty Jack. It's me, Harold Atari. Mr. Atari, Mighty Jack will rescue you. You'd better rescue me. I don't feel like being left out here to rot. Boy, of all the... Say, who does he think he is? And be quick about it. Unless you're all frightened pigeons. Boy, that's the last straw. Pigeon yourself. If you don't think you can handle the job, you might as well turn around and go home. You listen to that? Well, I've had enough. All right, let's go home. Why should we save him? You know, I admire his courage. Do you read me, Mighty Jack? Well, what have you decided? We read you, all right. We need a little time. Very well. We'll take this up with Colonel Yabuki. Oh, Helen. Is everything ready for the conference? What's the matter? So you finally revealed your true colors. You're the one who betrayed us. I'm disappointed in you. Accept the proposal they've offered you. Atari's life in exchange for Mighty Jack. <laughs> Unless, Colonel, you would rather exchange your life for Mighty Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drop the gun. She's dead, sir. I believe she had swallowed some sort of lethal capsule. And then it... exploded inside her, as if it had been triggered off by remote control. Come back as soon as you've scouted the island. Okay? Roger. It's taken him so long. Who are you? You're Atari, huh? Yes, I'm Harold Atari. I was sent by Mighty Jack to rescue you. Really? Why don't you jump for joy? Instead of jumping for joy, I'm crying at your stupidity. What stupidity? 
You came to free me, but all you did was imprison yourself. What? Why don't you sit down and relax? Looks like you'll be here for a while. Here. There's a window there. Why didn't you use it? Hold it. It's protected by laser beams. The dirty. Tell me. Is there a way to contact Mighty Jack? There sure is. Calling Mighty Jack. Calling Mighty Jack, it's Jerry. Mighty Jack, I see you finally made it. Where's their installation? On the south side of the island. How's Atari? He's okay. Hello, Mighty Jack. I'm on the island now, and I'm going to try and rescue them. Yes, sir. Jerry, where are you? I'm in a small room. Yeah? You follow the long corridor. It's the door on the right. Okay. You, Captain? The door's locked. They're trying to kill us with poison gas. Hold still. It's better if you don't move. We've got to get out. Joking. we go. We ought to blow the place up. Uh, okay, let's do it. Jerry, return to Mighty Jack. What about you? I got the buggy here. But Captain! That's an order. Yes, sir. <sighs> Don't move! <laughs> Let's go. Right.
All right, engines on. Yes, sir. Combat stations. Let's go after them. It's no use. Their speed is much faster than ours. I can't believe it. Faster than Mighty Jack? Never underrate your enemy. Anyway, we saved Mr. Atari, and that's all that matters. Captain, I think we ought to destroy the island completely. Tommy, let's go back to the island. Yes, sir. I don't like that guy. Who does he think he is? Careful. He might hear you. He's a VIP. Yeah, you don't say. We risk our necks to save his life, and now he's giving orders. We'll be over the target very soon. Say, Captain, should we drop a few bombs? It'll keep them quiet for a while. Good idea. Mission accomplished. Now let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> destroyed us, Mighty Jack. We will retaliate for this. Our organization is powerful. Q will return and annihilate you forever.
finally made it back to base, and we're not allowed to get off. Those were the orders from headquarters. <laughs> Welcome back, Jerry. The mission was successful, wasn't it? Yeah, but I didn't enjoy it. Not at all. Why not? Well, you see, uh, there was this guy. I just couldn't stand him. Allow me to introduce Major Harold Atari, Mighty Jack's new commander. He'll assume his duties as of today. Welcome aboard, Commander. The captain is your executive officer. Ah. Captain? It's an honor, sir. <sighs> Lieutenant Jerry. Sir? It's good to see you. I'd like to thank you for rescuing me. Oh, it was nothing. If you hadn't come... Oh. oh. Sir, allow me to introduce our other crew members. This and so, Eddie. with its new commander, the Mighty Jack team is complete. Ready to set off on further missions. Ready to combat the forces of evil and corruption wherever they exist. Ready to fight for the preservation of peace and order in the world. And above all, to destroy the organization known as Q, and prevent it from achieving its goal of creating havoc among friendly nations and its mad pursuit of world domination. has been a sudden wave of terrorist attacks in a number of capital cities. Several factors indicate that these terrorists belong to a secret organization with agents in every country. They are equipped with the latest nuclear weapons. Q again. Atari here. We have problems. What? They've destroyed the installation. <laughs> the artificial island's gone. Yes. I'm afraid so. It's Q again. Mm -hmm. We urgently need a titanium alloy for a top priority military research project. How soon can you be ready for redeployment? 
Well, let's see. I have to shave, and then I'll want to eat a decent breakfast with toast, scrambled eggs, and black coffee. <laughs> well, if that's the case, take your time. Don't forget, I want scrambled eggs with lots of toast and butter, and I want the coffee black and very hot. And to start with, uh, I'll have some orange juice. Yes, sir. And don't burn the toast. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Engines on. Engines on. Ready for submerging. Submerge. Submerge. Water level, 50 feet. Unlock gates. Unlock gates. We'll first search the area in the Arctic zone. Yes, yes sir. sir. Confirm course. On course, sir. What's our present speed? Mac 2. Maintain speed and proceed in the direction north-northwest. Yes, sir. It's just an iceberg. We'll be at the North Pole in five minutes. <laughs> Enemy approaching. Prepare to launch missiles. Pronto. Pronto. The enemy has now gone. Close missile sights. That was Q, all right. A clever hiding place. We'll just wait till we're ready to attack. Our first duty is to go inspect the frozen island. Holding position. There's no trace of the station at the bottom of the sea. Maybe they succeeded in floating it. They could have removed it in separate sections. Yes, though I don't think they had time to dismantle it. Eddie, Yuri. Yes, yes sir. sir. Put on your diving suits and scout the whole area. Yes, sir. Track them on the screen. Yes, sir. Keep radio contact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A direct hit. Jerry, reload rockets. Yes, sir. Mary, keep tracking them. Yes, sir. I think one of them's hurt. Laser gun. Laser gun.
Eddie, Yuri, are you all right? Answer. Answer. We're going after them. Get ready. Yes, sir. Mary, radio headquarters. Yes, sir. Dr. Hyde, you take over. Yes, sir. What was the research agency's conclusion? I don't know. They haven't announced it yet. But there's one thing that bothers me, sir. There was a strange cargo ship in the harbor. I had the feeling that it was spying on our installations. I tried to get its nationality, but then it vanished suddenly. Would you recognize it again? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Well, then I think you ought to do a little sightseeing along the docks. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, here is that report from the Technical Research Agency. Thank you, sir. They believe the island had no density. It was only H2O. That means no mass of land, merely solidified water. Then it should be floating on the surface because of the specific gravity. I can't believe it could sink to the bottom of the ocean without melting in the warm water. It's against all the laws of physics. Hmm. One thing is certain. To melt the ice, they required intense heat. Or oh, there's another possibility. Q has found a way to convert molecular energy. Various scientists have been working on it, but Q may have found the solution. It would be tragic if such an important scientific discovery were used only to serve evil purposes. Q is powerful. They may have been able to infiltrate our own research centers or maybe they have been able to bribe some of the scientists working for us. Who's been involved in such research? Hmm. Well, principally Dr. Takebander of Japan and also Dr. von Müller from West Germany. Uh-huh. Dr. Takebana is a visiting professor from Oxford. He travels a great deal. Could they have some connection with Q? Could they be agents for the organization? We asked Interpol to investigate the murder for us, but they finally reported that there was no proof of any such connection. I could have guessed that. Uh, have you got their photographs? Mm. Here you are. Thank you. Come in, gentlemen. Come in. We are now entering the final phase of our operation. The time has come for us to use all the means at our disposal to destroy our enemies, and especially Mighty Jack. They have annoyed us too long. I wish you every success in this, our last combat. Good luck, gentlemen. And now, you may go. Yes, Master. Yes, yes, Master. master. Hold it right there. Come with me. Oh, you're
You're back with us again. Where am I? A bus, a requisition. <laughs> Cozy, isn't it? Have you any idea what they wanted? No, I have no idea at all. Maybe they were after my money. Thank you for rescuing me. Nothing. Don't even mention it. Oh. Something annoying you? You're Manuel Perez. I recognize you. Aren't you Manuel Perez? You've always been a hero figure to me. I've read your books and know all about your early struggles. You did such good work in the third world. Are you still involved in politics? Excuse me a second. Look after him. Sure. What took you so long? I was beginning to get worried. Was that the ship? No. But something else happened. Q tried to kidnap me. Oh. Only I was saved by this man, Perez. help you? Are you looking for anything special? Oh, no. I'm just browsing around. You see, I have to do a lot of traveling, so I'm always buying travel guides. Special correspondent for World Magazine, Roberto Okamura. Well, you're the famous writer, aren't you? I read one of your articles a short while ago, and I thought you did a wonderful job describing Q's increasing power in the various countries. I see you have a rather special interest in it. But Mighty Jack interests you too, I guess. Oh, I don't know what you mean. I'm only a salesgirl in the store here. Yeah? Why don't we step out and have a little cup of coffee? Just the two of us. We can chat quietly about Mighty Jack. It's got a lot of friends in this store. Roberto, I don't think that uh, your readers would be interested in what goes on around here, do you? Uh -uh. Hmm? You're the person in charge here, Mr. Atari, right? Yes, so I am. Yes, the famous Mr. Atari. <laughs> you know what puzzles me? The newspapers often talk about Mighty Jack, only the strange thing is that they never mention the crew, not once. Only the mechanical details the design and all its latest equipment. I have a responsibility to our readers. I'd like to write about who the crew is, all the human interest stuff, you know. Well, then write what you have to. Are you all right, Roberto? Come on. <laughs> Up there, the roof. Hot. Blasted. <sighs> Jerry, where is he? He got away. Oh, what have you got there? I found this on the staircase. strange-looking bullet. It's transparent. Huh? I've never seen anything like this before. How did it go? Hmm? Same results as before. Is that so? We raised the heat to 800 degrees without melting it, or even altering its molecular structure. It's definite proof that... Uh. 
Ah, I found it. You knew about that? Sometimes it's necessary to keep the enemy well informed. I thought that we ought to tell them we knew about the high temperature ice. Now we'll wait and see how they react. Oh. You mean Roberto? Yes, he's an agent of Q. And Perez? There's no proof yet. Catherine's investigating that now. I understand Dr. Takibana will be returning tomorrow. Good. We'll go question him. Is the doctor a Q agent? That's exactly what we intend to find out. A job for you, Atari. Yes. Interesting lecture. Yes, very. I enjoyed it. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did the research at Oxford. Excuse me, Doctor. We'd like to speak to and you. Not now. I'm very busy. It's about hot ice. Here. It's not made of glass, but only of water. I believe you were working on this experiment. Uh, would you gentlemen excuse me? Certainly, yes, of doctor. course. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, Fritz, I'll take that. Could we, uh... uh... This is Fritz. He's my assistant. Atari. How do you do? Lieutenant Yuri, how do you do? Well, I must go now. Goodbye. Uh, shall we go to my office? All right. Someone broke in and stole all my records. Ten years of research. I'd nearly completed all my experiments. And then, one day, all my papers were gone. What a tragedy. And now, I see that someone has carried my work to its final stage. Ice that won't melt even under very high temperatures. Atari, have you any idea who could have stolen them? Could it be Dr. von Muller from West Germany? No, I don't think it's him. He's engaged in similar research, though our methods are quite different. If you analyze this substance, you will see that it could not have been made without using my process. Could it have been Fritz, your assistant? No, definitely not. Why not? You see, Fritz is my son. What? And my wife died many years ago. She was German. Fritz is my son. He grew up in Berlin. I understand. Atari, I told you a little while ago all that work of ten years had been stolen. It was a great loss. But now I realize I was wrong to speak about my work prematurely. It was out of vanity I opened the door for the thief. What do you think? It's hard to say if he's telling the truth, but he sounded very sincere. There's still one suspect. Who? Dr. Van Muller. Let's go then. Well, Atari, it's good you're here. I'd like to introduce this gentleman to you. This is Dr. Von Muller, my assistant. How do you do? Doctor? How do you do? Doctor. Well, let's sit down. Atari. Sir. Dr. von Muller also claims that all his research documents have been stolen. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Then you're half Japanese, half French with some Vietnamese mixed in. Is that right? Mm hmm. During the war, I was sent to school in Italy. My parents thought I'd be more sheltered there. I never saw either of them again. They both died in Vietnam. I see. I'm sure you suffered a great deal then. But today the world's a different place. There's so much to live for. They say that the happiest people are the ones with faith. Yes. 
Oh. I'm afraid that I left my cigarette lighter in your store the other day. The one who stole those papers must be working for Q. We have to try and set some kind of trap to discover the traitor. Right? Harry, Eddie? Yes, yes sir. sir. Find out who else had access to those files. Yes, yes sir. sir. Did you see a lighter? Ah, oh, there. Here it is. Ah, oh, thank you. And here's something for you. Oh. Well, it's been real nice. Mighty Jack. There is. Avanti. See. Been waiting long? Oh. I'm going out to eat now. I just came into a little money. You free for dinner tonight? Yes, I am. Is this your car? No, I borrowed it from a friend. Oh, I see. I know a terrific new place. Come on, get in, okay? Ah. Enter. Please. Pronto, pronto. Operazione uno. Operazione uno. A, B. A, B. Operazione due. Master, operation two completed. <laughs> Ha capito. Bene. Pronto. What did you say? <laughs> In Amori Bay, they're now constructing the new island for their experiments to replace the old one. But I just gave orders to have it destroyed with our iceberg method. Destroy it? Of course. Once it is destroyed, you will no longer be able to develop the weapons to defeat us. Q will then be the most powerful organization in the world. The whole of the United Nations will have to submit to our will. You filthy traitor. You're not going to get away with it, though. Mighty Jack will stop you. So you admit there's a connection between Mighty Jack and you. <gasps> No matter what they try, Mighty Jack is now powerless. No, nothing will help them. Oh, why do you say that? <laughs> there is. Contact our agent right away. Mm -hmm. Hello, Father. Fritz. So you're the one who... Yes. You should have realized it long ago. I opened your safe and gave all your records to Q. How could you? All my life's work. You of all people, my own son. Yes, I knew you'd say that. All my life, you could only think of me as Japanese. But inside, I'm German. My own son. How much did they give you to betray me and work with those monsters? You've never acknowledged the work that anyone else did. All those years, you took the credit. Only now things will be different. I'll have my own laboratory. With Q, I have a great future. A great future? By stealing another man's ideas? 
betraying your father? By dealing with murderers? Yes. Your ideas and ethics are too antiquated for you to understand what we are creating. Tomorrow we'll conquer the whole world. Fritz. Why have we come here? I have proof that Dr. Takibana was working for Keith. <gasps> I'm going to check out his apartment. You stay as lookout. Can't I go with you? You stay here. Oh, no. I wouldn't know what to do if someone spotted me here. Oh, all right, come along. A nice little toy, a portable synchroton unit. A portable synchroton unit? Yes. Dr. Takibana changes water to ice instantly by accelerating their molecules. With this little device, anyone has the power to alter molecular structure anywhere. I see. Then you can even make ice bullets? Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's Mary's signal. Just what I've been waiting for. What do you mean? I assume Q was clever enough to detect if anyone was acting. Mary doesn't know who their agent is. Huh. You're like living dangerously. Let's eh? go, Doctor. Major, I'm so glad to see Where'd you. Where'd they go? I'm not sure about Dr. Takibana. Roberto tried to stop Fritz, but he got away. He made off with the portable synchroton. Synchroton? Yes. Dr. Fritz? Yeah? We'll go ahead as planned. The ship is waiting at the Shubaru Maru dock. Hurry up. Yeah. Q must be trying to help Dr. Takibana and his son escape. Mm. Doctor, better call for a backup. Yes, sir. The man we're waiting for. Fritz. Well, let's go. Senorita, you're coming with us. And make sure that Dr. Takibana doesn't commit suicide. Right. Papa, wait right here. And don't go away. I'll come right back. Please don't you try anything for your own good. This way. The ship's down there. You cover the other side. Just another few minutes. I'm sure Fritz will show up. 
Yes. Roberto. It's strange you only mentioned Fritz. You should have said Dr. Takibana and Fritz. It's not true. All right, Mr. Q. I think you better start talking. So, if Dr. Takibana isn't a Q agent, why did you lead us out here like this? Look! No, you don't! Die! Roberto! He was only stalling us to give them time to get away. They'll kill Catherine! Get back! All right, get inside. Come on. Mighty Jack. Mighty Jack. The door will only open for 11 pre-registered voices. You do it. I'm not one of them. Bring her here. Oh. I don't think shooting me is going to help. You're right. But now we'll get a chance to see how good this gadget is. Don't shoot her. It's no use. We're lost. Q is too strong. There's nothing we can do to stop them. <laughs> Go on. This is quite an installation here. Eddie, can you get to the pier? Yes, sir. No, I'll go instead. Hurry. Surprise them. Come on. Having fun? <laughs> Down! Stop it! Oh. 
I'm choked. Major. How is he? All right. Catherine. Catherine. How are you? A little weak. Q is going to. What about Q? They're going to destroy the island in Amori Bay. With the freezing process? Yes. I overheard Roberto give the order. It was for today. You must hurry, sir. You must hurry. Catherine, get back to Mighty Jack. Full scale alert. Yes, sir. Combat station. Yes, 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 yes sir. sir. Increase speed. Increase speed. Nuclear rockets. Ready to fire. Engine room. Gauge indicates temperatures rising. Master, ready to engage Mighty Jack. At last. Coolant not reacting. Temperature rising. Decrease speed. The iceberg. Q's headquarters. Major, let's hit them right now. We'll never have a better chance than this. Get ready to fire. Right. Huh? What is it? What's wrong? 200. Sir, the temperature's continually rising. Another 100 degrees and the engine room will explode. What are we going to do? I don't know. We've got to find a way to reduce the temperature. Jerry, see if Dr. Takibana can help us. Go on. Yes, sir. Jerry, they better hurry or Q will blast us right out of here. They're working on the synchrotron now. <laughs> Can't you hurry? They're helpless out there. I'm doing all I can. Try that switch. I'll take over. Try the backup system. Yes, sir. Backup system functioning. Yuri, Yuri, how's it going? The temperature's still rising. I can't seem to control it. Hurry, Doctor. You've got to get it working. Sir, the temperature is still rising. We'll explode any second. What shall we do? I've got it. It's working now. It's working. Oh. It's working. It's working. Direct it onto the engines. OK. I'm ready. Leave it there. Right. Easy. All right, now. Fire. There. There. Good. Oh, it's working. The ice is melting. The temperature's dropping. The temperature's dropping. Great. All systems functioning. Start up. All right, let's get them. <laughs>
Laser gun. Laser gun. Launch rockets. Second battery. Fire second battery. That's the end of Q. Good work, men. It was a difficult mission, but we did it. Yes. yes. I hope it wasn't too tough on you. It's been an honor working with you, sir. All right, let's go home. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs>